Hi everyone guys, I am in Abu Dhabi, the capital of UAE and I'm gonna show you the best beaches, the best restaurants and also the best things to do. Let's take a step back because we actually arrived yesterday night. Okay guys, we just arrived at the hotel. We have here a normal bathroom. Here we have a king size bed. There is also a desk over there where you can work. The view from the room is incredible. Right now it's night, so you cannot see it very well. We are at the 17th floor and now we should have dinner because it's 9.30 a.m. I think that we're gonna eat hummus, lebne, something like this, Middle East food because we love the Middle East cuisine. So we are ready to go. Bye guys. We're taking a tour around this area. The hotel, fortunately, is very central. We are in Abu Dhabi downtown, so there are many shops, restaurants, always open. And now we are searching for the best restaurants to eat Arabic food. I'm craving hummus right now. You wanna buy a ring right now? No, no. You have to buy the ring. <laughs> I don't think so. The weather is crazy, guys. It's 10 46 p.m. here in Abu Dhabi, and there are around 33 Celsius degrees. I feel like my pressure is going down, and we are also tired, so. We're gonna get used to it, maybe tomorrow with 45 degrees. Everything is open 24 seven, sometimes restaurants and so on. So it's incredible because you can do whatever you want. You don't have to plan everything. The best advice that I can give to you is to take a taxi from the airport, but you don't have to book it. You can take it outside the airport. There are many Karim taxis. There is an application that you can download from the app store and so on. It's like 85 dirham from the airport to Abu Dhabi downtown. It's very cheap. It's like $25 if I'm not wrong. Don't take the bus. It costs less, of course. It will take one hour, one hour and ten to go from the airport to the city center. There is also a lot of traffic in the center, of course. You should bring a jacket with you guys because outside there are 40 degrees, 45, 50 Celsius degrees. And inside the shops, restaurants, there is the AC. It's like winter, so you can get a cold if you don't bring a jacket with you. The best Arabic restaurant is near our hotel. It's behind me. It's incredible because we can eat a variety of Arabic food. We ordered many things, and now I'm gonna show you everything. We ordered hummus with meat, lebne. It is another appetizer. And uh, falafel. falafel. We don't know the pronunciation. We like to eat it. Wow. The meat is very tender, the hummus is crazy. Fresh bread made by them. I paid only... Speechless. I'm speechless, okay, it's true, I'm speechless. <laughs> only 56 dirham, there is something like $18. It's very cheap. And we, we are full. The food was incredible. The restaurant has 4.3 stars out of five with more than 2,000 reviews on Google. So it's one of the best restaurant, Arabic restaurant in Dubai and Dubai in Abu Dhabi downtown, I'm sorry. So if you come here, you should should definitely eat at this restaurant, have dinner, have lunch. They, they have breakfast, yes, everything you want. Everything you want. They are open from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. So you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. Good morning, let's have breakfast. Yeah. Today is a great day here in Abu Dhabi. The weather is crazy like always. There are already 36 Celsius degrees. We're going to Corniche. That is a very famous place here in Abu Dhabi. So we're gonna take a stroll there. We're gonna visit all the most important places this morning. Like Dubai here, you can find many skyscrapers and also many mosques all over the city. I found water! I found water! <laughs> ah, refreshing and free. I discovered another difference with Dubai. Here you can find many sidewalks that allow you to take a stroll in the city to explore the city properly. There are many islands here in Abu Dhabi and sometimes there are private. The beaches are free in Abu Dhabi, but there are also beaches with an entrance fee. Okay guys, we finally arrived at Abu Dhabi Beach. It's one of the best beaches here in Abu Dhabi. It's free. Also the view is amazing here. There are many skyscrapers. Also there is a white beach. It seems like Miami, but in a futuristic way. The water like a chicken soup. In this case, I'm the chicken under the sea. <laughs> the soup is the water. Is the soup. <laughs> soup, wow. There are many seaweed as well, so it's not the best beach, I think, this one. But we're gonna see other beaches. Before reaching the other beach here, we are searching for Kazn Al Hosn, and it's the oldest building here in Abu Dhabi. It's 
luckily guys there are water stations everywhere in the city so you can fill up your gel bottles compared to Dubai Abu Dhabi seems more real it's not like an amusement park with big skyscrapers I mean there are big skyscrapers but it seems like a real city so yeah. I have this feeling while Dubai is really artificial Meanwhile, you're walking in the city with all these skyscrapers. There is suddenly the oldest building in Abu Dhabi and it's majestic. And now we're gonna visit it. We bought two tickets for 60 dirhams. There is something like $9 per ticket, so it's very cheap. We're gonna visit all the building. There is also a tour guide. This one is the oldest building in Abu Dhabi. There were ancestors of the country that were living here. This is also the oldest watchtower of Abu Dhabi. There is the old part and all the skyscrapers behind this building. Okay, right now, guys, we're waiting for the tour guide and we're gonna see how they prepared coffee. The real name is Gawa, it's the Arabic coffee and it has a very important meaning for their, all the Arabic culture. The experience with coffee was great because they explained us everything about coffee, how they serve it. So it was a great coffee. You're supposed to eat it with a date, with a little bite of date, and then you can drink coffee. The coffee is without sugar. They put some spices, cardamom, zafran. We are back in the oven, guys, in the wood oven, we can say. <laughs> we are exploring the oldest houses and so on. I think that there are three watchtowers here. Let's enter. This watchtower was built in the late 1700s and it's the oldest standing structure on the Abu Dhabi island. Okay guys, right now we're searching for another beach. There should be Cornish Beach. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna search also for some restaurants. We are almost there guys. The beach is over there near the that skyscraper. In front of the beach there is also the Marina Mall. It is one of the biggest and most important mall here in Abu Dhabi. For example, here we have a beach where you have to pay in order to enter. I don't know the price. The, the name of the beach is a hill beach, something like this. There is a big garden, there are facilities like restaurants and so on. Finally, we reached the public beach. This one is the second largest free beach in Abu Dhabi, the so-called Corniche Beach. I prefer more Abu Dhabi beach because there are many skyscrapers behind the ocean while you're taking a swim. In this case, you have skyscrapers but are totally different from the other ones. In every public beach, there are three changing rooms and free showers. We're searching for a Karim. You can book it through the, the application, but you can also wave your hand and Karim will come. And now we're gonna go to the Marina Mall. We are at Marina Mall right now. It's a pretty normal shopping center like all over the world. And now we're searching for the food court where there are all the restaurants. We ordered hummus for the first time <laughs> and then something else. We are again in the wood oven. It's completely without the sun and we're gonna explore all this area. There is the Mandarin over there. There is the presidential palace and there is another thing to see over there. So let's go. And we are near the Marina Mall. So you can come here in like 10 minutes by foot so it's very very near i'm using revolut to pay here for those who don't know what revolut is it's a service that allows payments all over the world you can pay with different uh, currencies like dirham euros dollars and so on you can find the link down below in the description of this video because you have also a 30 euro bonus let's give it a try bye okay this monument it's the memorial of the sheikh zayed bin sultan al Nayhan. it is the founding father of the united arab Emirates. We arrived at the presidential palace here. It's majestic, 
everything is wide. It closes at 6, 6.30 p.m. roughly. And if you're planning to come, you should come earlier. 65 dirhams, 12 euros. So it's very cheap. And it's the presidential palace of UAE. It's humongous. We should take a taxi because we are in the middle of nowhere right now. So we call a taxi, we go back to the hotel and we go to eat at the restaurant. Like always, we are near the hotel, like yesterday night. It's great to have one of the best Arabic restaurant in Abu Dhabi near the hotel. It's like five minutes by foot. We ordered hummus with pine seeds, the Arabic pizza, manakesh, with Lebanese craft, that is a cheese, a Lebanese cheese, and also honey. Then we ordered regular shawarma with chicken and then a lemonade. Like yesterday, guys, we paid 55 dirhams, $16. It's very, very cheap. We are searching for a Karim to go to Corniche Beach. We arrived at the destination, but it's empty. Good morning everyone and welcome in another beautiful day in Abu Dhabi. Today we're gonna explore many many places. The first one is the Dates Market. There are many great beaches there, uh, Kai Beach and so on. We booked the mosque. For those who don't know what the mosque is here, it's one of the biggest and most important mosques all over the world. Okay guys, we are in the Dates Market. As you can see, I'm trying a date with chocolate and peanuts. Wow, it's crazy. There are countless dates, different varieties with pistachio, nuts, chocolate we bought the high protein dates and the price was only 50 dirhams we tried many things for free in this shop if you enter and you search for something they will offer you coffee Arabic coffee every type of dates we ate like three four dates each with coffee we tried the high protein date we tried the low sugar date the little one the fresh one here are kinder than Dubai the Baisuk of course and this one is one of the best market in Abu Dhabi as regards dates Okay guys, we took the taxi from the market to the Louvre of Abu Dhabi. The problem is that on Monday, every Monday, the Abu Dhabi Louvre is closed. Perfect! And we, we came That's here so on Monday. So we're gonna take a tour of the area to explore it. There is a very big building over there, so we're gonna explore the area and then change to another place because it's closed here and tomorrow we leave. The Louvre is on an island. For this reason, the sea is very crystalline. I would like to take a swim because it's very, very hot today as well, like every day. Okay guys, we found our next destination, that is a beach. Even though the Louvre is closed, we found a perfect spot for photos, for taking photos near the Louvre. I'm seeing many influencers over there that are taking photos. Luckily, there are sidewalks here to walk around the area and on the island to reach the beaches. This building here, not today, the day after tomorrow will be ready. All these three beaches here, here are not public beaches there is an entrance fee it, it is something like 50 dirhams the sea is incredible like you can see the beach is white is everything perfect but we want to move and explore others other beaches so okay guys quick update we are currently on another island that is called yas island it's lunch time so we decided to eat before going to the to a public beach this is a completely different island so we're gonna eat here we are at yas mall and in this area there are many attractions for example there is the Ferrari Park, there is the Warner Bros Center, a public beach as well, the Yas Beach. We found the place, the right place, the Lebanese cuisine, with hummus, falafel, mutabal, that is made with eggplants. The quality of the food, it's okay. Yeah, hummus was not the best one, to be honest, but mutabal was really good. Okay, now what do we do? Yas Marina. I think we should just see the mall, because I think it's one of the biggest ones here in Abu Dhabi, and then we can go to Yas Marina, which actually, even though it's in the same island, Island. It's really big here. Yeah, it's really, it's an entire island dedicated to these parks, the Ferrari Park, the Warner Bros and so on. Okay guys, we arrived here in Yas Marina. You can take a stroll alongside the seafront as well here. It's not like Corniche, it's not an 8 kilometer stroll. There are many restaurants, many places. There is also Yas Beach. It's a public beach, but there is an entrance fee of around 60 dirhams. That's it. That is something like 12 euros, 14 dollars. Okay guys, we are changing the area again. We're going to the Yas Bay waterfront. Don't come in Yas Marina because it's nothing special. So I think that the waterfront is better, hopefully. By the way, there are many jellyfish here, as you can see in the water. 
I think that it's not the best place to take a swim here. We are at the Yas Waterfront. There is a very big scuba diver here. <laughs> it's quite creepy. It's something particular that you don't see in other places, so it is worth it to see. We are drinking to iced Americano. We are taking a stroll on this seafront here. It's really, really cute. And in one hour, we're gonna go to the mosque, to the most famous mosque all over the world. And we're going at sunset time because we're gonna see the mosque during the sunset. And then after the sunset, there will be the night. And so the colors change with all the lights. The more you explore this area, the better it is because there are countless restaurants, shops, and so on. There are many fancy bars and there is also the, the seafront. It's a great, really great place to spend the night, maybe also the afternoon with friends. Okay guys, we are ready. We are dressed up. We're gonna take the Karim taxi and we're gonna go there in like half an hour. The view is breathtaking. At the entrance, there is the dress code. You can find it on the site as well, on the internet site as well. There's so many pictures with uh, Queen Elizabeth or the Pope. So it's a very important place. Here it's incredible, it's majestic. breathtaking. There are no adjectives to describe the ma majesty of this mosque. The sunset time is perfect if there is the sun. The most important thing is that it's free. You don't have to pay in order to come here and visit everything. There are no words to describe it really. There is the security everywhere, so I'm pretending to speak with my girlfriend, but actually I'm recording this video. And I cannot do it because as soon as they discover it, they want me to delete everything, so it's dangerous. The sun is going down, finally the lights are turned on and it's becoming magical. <laughs> By far, it's the best experience that I tried in my life because it's free, you don't have to pay, and the building is something that you cannot describe really. You have to stick to rules in order not to, to create problems to other people and so on. This is the entrance, the main entrance. Look at this. <laughs> Abibi, come to Abu Dhabi. On top of the roof, there is a sign indicating the Mecca because when you're praying, you have to pray in the right direction and in this case, is on the right. Good morning, guys. Today we are at Kai Beach in Sadia, Thailand. This morning, we packed everything. We have the flight at 7 p.m. So we are here on this island, the sea. It's crazy, the water is sky blue. It's one of the best beaches here in um, Abu Dhabi. It's a private beach and the price is 85 dirhams per person. So it's like 21 euros. And the price is fair because you have a sun mat and umbrella. There is the bar, you can order food, cocktails, because it's a private beach. There are many facilities, uh, showers, restrooms, and so on. We are unwinding the last hours here in Abu Dhabi. We saw many, many things and we are very, very happy for everything that we did so far. My girlfriend said that I have to record something here near the sea, so I'm recording. I don't have nothing to say, so I'm sorry, guys. The background is beautiful. Yeah, the background is beautiful. It's only a random cliff. There are also volleyball and soccer field on the beach, but no one is playing, of course, because the temperature is very, very high. Today, I think it's 40 degrees as well. So if you're crazy, you can play under the, <laughs> the sun, the burning sun, but it's quite impossible. There is more avocado than the toast. <laughs> There is cheese on top, tomatoes and chili pepper. It's very, very tasty. And we are eating near the sea. Guys, the water is burning. It's like the water in a pot when it's boiling. It's incredible. The sand is drying up at the beginning of the beach. It's quite spectacular, but you cannot survive outside of the water. So the only way to stay on the beach for four hours, five hours is to go in and out <laughs> in the water. Okay, guys, finally, we are at the airport. We took the taxi from the beach to the airport. We spent 77 euros. 23 dollars and it's very very cheap Karim like always thank you very much for watching this video till the end if you liked it leave a like down below subscribe to this channel and see you in the next one maybe peace out see you in Dubai peace out goodbye